401k is such a great way to fund your retirement that you should contribute whatever you can afford. Welcome to lesson two of the ABCs of your 401k. When you first set up your 401k account, your employer may give you a choice between a Roth 401k or a regular 401k. Uh, as a reminder, the drill icon means that we have more detailed information on this subject available on our website, abcinvesting.com. The regular 401k usually works out about the same as the Roth, but the Roth would be a better choice in either of two cases. You want to maximize the amount of money you put into your 401k, or you expect to be in a higher tax bracket when you retire. If either of these are the case, then go with the Roth 401k. But if you're not sure, just stick with the regular 401k. It's always a good choice. With a regular 401k, saving costs less than you might think. Low-income families can get a special tax credit for putting money into a 401k. And for the rest of us, there are still tax savings. Suppose that you're in the 25% tax bracket. If you put $100 into your 401k, you've just saved $25 in taxes. So your net cost is only $75 pretty cool to put $100 away for your retirement at a cost of only $75. Many companies offer to match money that their workers put into a 401k. The details are different at different companies, but one common formula is for the company to add 50 cents for every dollar that you put in up to a maximum of 6% of your salary. That's free money. You need to try very hard to make the full contribution that will be matched by your company. But even without a match, the 401k is still a great deal. Now, I know that you have many other good uses for your money, so I've written several drill downs about possible uses for your money. If you're wondering if you should first pay off your credit cards or your car loan or your mortgage, then I've got a drill down for you. Also, if you're thinking about an emergency savings account or starting a college fund for the kids, I have specific advice to help you make your decision. Finally, for those of you who have trouble finding money to put into your 401k, here's an easy way to get started. Begin with a very small amount, like $30 a month. Then, every time you get a raise, add the entire amount of the raise into your 401k contribution. If you get average pay raises, you'll be up to 6% in just three years. That's it for lesson two, but you have another choice to make. Lessons three and four are both about investments, but you only need one of these lessons. Watch lesson three if you just want the conclusions about how to invest your 401k money. Watch Lesson 4 if you want to know how investments work before you make your decision. I'm Dr. Bill Connerly, Chief Economist of ABCinvesting.com, and I wrote the book, The ABCs of Your 401k.